what to put in your personal injury demand letter. Hi, I'm Christopher Nicolason from Springs Law Group, and today I wanted to talk to you about what goes into your demand letter, or like we like to call it, your settlement opportunity letter. So first, let's start off with what exactly is the demand letter. So a demand letter is going to be a written letter or email that you're going to send to the insurance adjuster whenever you're fairly close to wanting to settle your case. And then within that demand or settlement opportunity, you're going to you know, let the insurance company know some things. Some of those things are going to be what exactly happened in your auto accident. So it would be a summary of the accident. It's going to be a summary of your medicals. So your medical bills and your medical records. So kind of a summarization of everything that happened to you along the way. Additionally too, we put in what we would call your lost wages. So time that you missed from work, you know, due to the injuries you sustained from the crash. And then we also put in things like your non-economic damages or your pain and suffering, your quality of life. So you want to make sure throughout the process that you're actually keeping a good record of things that happen to you, things that you can't do as well now that you could prior to the accident. And you want to detail that in, you know, kind of paragraph or bullet point form, you know, in your demand so that you can then let the insurance company know, hey, this is a case that's more than just about medical bills getting paid back. It also affected me in a lot of ways. It affected my quality of life. It affected me emotionally. It had a ripple effect that affected people around me as well too. So tell your story within your demand or settlement opportunity letter. And the reason that we call it that settlement opportunity is at that point, we're saying we're giving you the insurance company a chance to settle with us and negotiate with us fairly at this point in time. So those are some of the things that we look at kind of from a 30,000 foot view to put into demand letters. If you ever have any questions, feel free and reach out to us. We're happy to help and chat with you about that.